as Americans, if we are naively turning our cheek, or ignorantly, I should say, turning our cheek from the rising levels of religious persecution and hostility around the globe due to the naive belief that that persecution can never reach us, then we need to think again because hostility turns into violence and violence eventually turns into persecution. Mm -hmm. And so uh, actually the Heritage Foundation put it beautifully. They said that any government willing to infringe on the right of consciousness will not hesitate to infringe on your other rights. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think, yeah, Very like true. I said, this is something that we need to be aware of. And if there ever is an infringement, then we need to, as a community, not look to the government to solve this. Because as I was writing this piece, I'm like, where do I conclude? Like, how do we how do we stop this? How do we fix this? I think it's a matter of education. It's not something that we should look to the government to fix. This is the American people assuming self-responsibility for our communities and realizing that this is something that, one, we need to be aware of, and then crack down as a community if we ever need to. 